Welcome to this relational is video presentation. In this video we will cover the use case for using WCF data services as compared to native client data access. WCF data services allow applications to share data over the web or an intranet using the open data protocol. In this video we will examine the scenario of using data services on an intranet. An intranet implementation of data services would typically have much better network throughput than an intranet application. In the examples presented here the WCF service is hosted on the same machine as the test client so all results should be considered optimal. A cost-benefit analysis should be diligently considered and analyzed when using data services, even on an intranet. As with web services in general, data services are provided as a way to offer interoperability between disparate systems using standards-based protocols. Integration concerns are alleviated through the use of data services due to being platform and application independent. A large enterprise with many different deployed application and server frameworks could greatly benefit from the use of data services. On the other hand, an organization that has consistent technologies deployed across the enterprise may consider using native data clients to provide data access, thus eliminating the unneeded communication overhead that data services experience. We will start out using a Lambda-based query to a WCF data service and measure the network I.O. that is generated. 100 calls are made to the data service, with each call returning 100 records. Network reads and writes generate 3.6 megabytes of network I.O. Now we will execute the same Lambda-based query against an entity framework data model. The same query against the entity framework data model generates only 558 kilobytes of network I.O. From a user wait time perspective, the data service calls take nearly 3 seconds to complete. Please note that the result sets returned in this example are very lightweight that is, very few columns without much data content. The native query completes in just 260 milliseconds. The SQL that is generated through the use of data services differs from that of the native client. For example, data services likes data to always be ordered, whereas the native client only does this when the link statement dictates. Data services do not parameterize the query, therefore executing as ad hoc. The query generated by the native client is parameterized and executed using SP execute SQL. This causes a reusable execution plan to be generated. The single execution plan keeps the query cache much smaller. Query cache gets removed by the DBMS under memory pressure. The data services query creates 99 entries in the plan cache. The native client generates one plan cache entry and executes it 99 times. This is much more efficient. Identical link statements can generate very different SQL statements when using data services over the native client. An application developer should keep a close eye on the generated SQL to ensure that business logic will be properly implemented. Data service generated SQL statement. Native client generated SQL statement. Thank for you joining us on this relationalis video presentation.